In this video, we're going to review how to upgrade your 9.5 Zerto Virtual Manager to version 9.7. Before starting, let's make sure that all of the peer sites are compatible with the version we're upgrading to. We can do this by going to the Sites tab and clicking the cog at the top right. Choose Show or Hide Columns and select the version checkbox. Once checked, hit the OK button and we will see the version column added. The next step is to identify the current version of your vCenter environment. To do so, open your vSphere client. At the top right hand corner of your screen, press the question mark button and select About VMware vSphere. Once you have identified your vSphere client version, Navigate to help.zerto.com and search for Support Matrix to see the matrix of supported versions. Make sure the version you're going to is compatible with your version of vCenter. Once you know they're compatible, log into your ZVM virtual machine and navigate to Services. Stop the Virtual Manager service. If you're running the Zerto Embedded DB Manager, please make sure to also stop that. If you're running the external DB, please make sure to take a backup of the database. Once that's done, return to vSphere so we can take a snapshot of our virtual machine before the upgrade. Right-click your ZVM virtual machine, go to Snapshots, and take a snapshot. Once the snapshot is done, we'll resume services on the ZVM virtual machine. We'll restart services, beginning with the last service we stopped. So we're starting with the Zerto Embedded DB Manager. Then we'll continue with the Zerto Virtual Manager. And lastly, we'll restart the Zerto Virtual Backup Appliance. Once they're up and running, refresh the page. Then log into the Zerto Virtual Manager. Make sure that everything is green on the VPGs tab, that there are no issues in the environment, and there are no running tasks. Once that's verified, return to the RDP session to your ZVM machine. Select the pre-downloaded 97 installer, right-click it and select Run as Administrator. Hit Next. Accept the license agreement and hit Next again. Here, it's up to you whether to upgrade your VRAs right away or not. In this example, we are not going to upgrade VRAs automatically, so we'll uncheck this box and click Next. This way, we'll be able to safely revert back to a snapshot. Click Next again and make sure that all of the validations look good. Click Run. and wait for the upgrade process to complete. Once it's done, you'll see a message saying that the installer has finished upgrading. Hit Done, and navigate to the Zerto Virtual Manager. 
we're going to verify that we're on the newer version. You might need to refresh the page a few times. Once you're logged in, go to the hamburger menu at the top right and go to About. We are currently on 9.7U4P3. Since we didn't upgrade VRAs, we're going to do that now. Let's go to the Setup tab and click the three dots next to the VRA. Then click Upgrade. You can do this for every VRA separately, or you can do this for a cluster. 